Hello everyone, welcome back! I'm Gaming Quitter, the most delicious quitter of them all, and today we're going to take a look at the Mana Spiral for Gala Elrizan. You can only get the materials needed for the spiral by doing Poseidon's Trial in the Mighty Trials quest series. Keep in mind though, you will still need other materials like Champion's Testaments. And by the way, if you end up enjoying this video and you're not subscribed yet, why not do that once you're done with the video? Now let's talk about Gala LSN. Gala LSN used to be a top tier buff bot, but that did kinda change with the double buff meta, where other units were just better at that, especially if you definitely needed a real healer. With the Dominion series, the double buff meta is dead, so something new needs to happen. Gala LSN also suffers from the Curse of Nihilist, but with her mana spiral, she does become better. Her first skill, Holy Accord, now doesn't give a straight up 30% strength buff anymore, but the effect gets split up into two effects. The skill gives a 15% strength buff and also grants the team the Holy Accord effect. The Holy Accord effect also gives a 15% strength buff, so we still have the 30% strength buff in total in most content. Additionally, an HP regen is granted. Very important note, the skill cost shoots up quite a bit when spiraling her when it comes to sharing the skill, so be beware of that if you're using her skill on other units. Gala Alessand's second skill, Celestial Ascent, did get a super small increase of damage. The most important parts are the other changes to the skill. Celestial Ascent now grants Strength Amp with a max level of 3 when it reaches Team Amp. Once the Amp is granted, the skill will not give Strength Amp again for another 30 seconds. The shield that Gala Alessand gives becomes 10% more potent and the Flame Resistance also increases by 5%. The energy that the skill gives has not changed. She also still is able to automatically fill the skill when under the effect of Divine Revelation. As always, co-ability and chain co-ability have not changed. Her first ability, Divine Oath, now gives LSN a 20% defense buff when she is under the effect of Divine Revelations. Her second ability gets the standard spiral buff, which means she gets a 50% strength increase whenever she is hit by an attack that would have caused an affliction on her. Her third ability sees an increase of 5% for the strength buff. Overall, I think that this is a pretty good spiral and might make Gala LSN see more use again, especially in the Dominion series. Simply the stat increases from the spiral and the stronger auto attacks should help her out quite a bit. She also becomes way more usable in auto content, I think. She does get stronger, but not too busted. This is how a spiral should be in my personal opinion. The small region from her first skill can also help units heal up faster, which is also really good in auto content or solo content. I do hope that this spiral helps Gal Alisan get used more often in co-op. I'm at least considering bringing her to content again once I've spiraled her, which will take a while sadly because I have run out of Champion's Testaments. And that's it for this video. Tell me in the comments below what you think about Gala Alessand's spiral and leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Also, if you want to join our amazing Discord with super cool people, the link is in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!